Hi, here I am on my mobile to re-register my company using the new iPay Online website. Login, it says here attention. I should just log in and it will ask me to create a new password. So if you don't have a iPay Online account from the old system, then you need to create a new account, I think, over here. I have an online account from the old system, so I'm just going to try log in and see what happens. You must reset your password if you're logging into the updated registry for the first time. You should soon receive an email with a link to reset your password. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna pause the video and check my email. Yes, there is my email to reset my password. Okay, follow this link. Here I go. I am going to put in my new password. And you click on submit. Looks like the password has been successfully changed. That's that. Okay, I'm gonna just click on login to see where it takes us. And authentication is successful. It took me to this account profile to view any details and correct or add information as required. Looks like we'll just make the necessary changes that I need. Okay, I'm done updating and checking and then I'm gonna click save here. See what happens. This time I see they've got down here, government issued photo ID to upload. So I'm going to upload my ID. I've uploaded my passport and then it took me to this page called user detail. So it looks like I'm gonna go through and put my birthday and update whatever else I need to. Okay, I've done my birthday. My passport is nicely uploaded there. I'm going to click save and see what happens. Well, bad request. I'm just gonna refresh the page and see what happens. Welcome to my dashboard. See companies here. Re-register PNG company. So I'm gonna click on that. There we are. Enter the entity name. So let's go again. Unicorn Emprise Limited. I'm gonna click search. And there it is. Okay, select. Wow, okay. Available filing B1. Initiate drum rolls here we are it gives us this online form general details back due annual returns upload don't know what that means does the company have a constitution mine does not so that goes no upon re-registration the company will be a foreign enterprise no next step addresses okay so i've got to go through and put in all this information it looks like so I'm gonna pause it and go through all of these tabs you see up above here note in the addresses section asks for at location of company record and at location of share register I'm gonna leave those unticked and go to the next step and it seems to let me go so that means that was not too necessary in my specific case and now it asks for directors so I'm gonna press add here now add current user and by adding me so I'm asking my appointment date here so me by put the appointment date plot time me started as a company I just wanted to tell you guys that after that I press ok down here and it's got me as the director here it's next step here I didn't want to elect to have a secretary so no secretary will be added so this is where we put the share details okay now it asks me to add the bundle and in there it asks again for the number of shares i put 100 and then add shareholder which is me myself and i because i am a unicorn individual there i go and there you go select the director if they are a shareholder which is the case me and there there's my name with the AP records. Wow, wow, we down here. This person has consented to act as shareholder for this company. Yep, save, and there it is. Add shareholder. Let's save it and see what happens. There I go. Bundle of shares, 100 shareholders myself. 
and that's the shareholders done next proposed business activities interesting let's see what's mine add let's see what we got here well I decided to put the other community social and personal service activities because if anything happens we can clarify with the IPA they can educate me on what I should have put that list was a bit meh next step oh we're at the end signature I certify that all are uploaded and true and that I am a director check out okay I'm gonna press check out it's brought us to this checkout page let's press checkout okay we got a transaction receipt you'll be notified by email when the document is filed or rejected okay you can expect a response by the end of the next business day and look here over 24 hours later and I get my company re-registration approved I just got the congratulatory email here with a copy of the certificate of incorporation let's click and see what it looks like wow looks awesome look at that watermark with the png emblem that's an upgrade that's it i've re-registered my company unicode enterprise if you found my video useful remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with all your other business besties bye